Hi guys, um, long time no see. I'm going to make dinner right now. I'm making El Salvadorian pupusas. Uh, we went to an El Salvadorian place recently and I tried pupusas for the first time and they were amazing and I was thinking like I could totally make these like I feel like I could totally make these and so I'm going to. Matthew already cooked up a bunch of pork and he chopped it up for me. Uh, there's even like loads of extra uh, that I'll put in the fridge. I'm following a TikTok tutorial um, for this. But the pupusas that we had the other day was just like refried beans, pork, and cheese. I'm just going to heat up the um, refried beans really quick. Oh, I just grated a load of cheese. Um, I'm going to put these um, refried beans in. And I did like warm them up. They're not hot though. They're just kind of warm. And then I'm going to put probably like two thirds to three quarters of what's on this plate in here. Uh, just because it, it's a lot, I don't feel like I need all of it. I did um, season the refried beans. I don't know if I should have or if it was necessary. I don't know. Um, I seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, um, chili powder, and cumin. I'm kind of just winging this. I don't feel like it's a super difficult recipe. Um, I don't think it needs to be. I don't think it should be. I think that's good for the filling. We're going to make the corn flour dough for the pupusas now. I'm using <laughs> this cornmeal that I got from Winko and I truly don't know if this is the best thing to use for it. I didn't do much research. I bought this for something else. Um, I don't even remember now but I'm going to use it anyways and I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that it works out. Take it all with a grain of salt because this is probably not the correct flour to be using. I'm going to use it anyway. You don't need a KitchenAid to do this, for sure. I'm using my KitchenAid because the bowl is the second biggest bowl that I have. And I figure if I'm gonna use the bowl, I might as well use the mixer. So it's definitely not necessary, um, but I'm just gonna use it anyways. Okay, so that consistency <laughs> is definitely wrong. I don't think cornmeal is gonna work. <laughs> it's definitely the wrong consistency. So, I think I'm gonna run and get some corn flour for this bag. I'm gonna run to Smith's really quick and uh, pick out, pick up the corn flour that she used. I'll be back. Life update. We're actually moving in about a month. We currently live in Utah um, for school. My husband's going to school in Utah. We are moving to Boston for the summer, so it'll be about four months. My husband will be doing summer sales this year. Um, and that is why we're going to Boston. Um, and I know the summer sales is such a Utah thing to do. We're actually, neither of us are from Utah. We're both from California. But coming to Utah, we have friends who are in summer sales. Um, and we've decided to do it. Um, we think it's going to be a fun adventure. Um, it just sounds like a really fun idea and so we are doing summer sales this year. 
here. We, meaning him, I'm just kind of tagging along for the ride. So we'll be in Boston for a few months this summer. Um, again, like I said, I think it's gonna be a really fun adventure. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. But that being said, moving vlogs are coming very soon. I've done, I think a few moving vlogs before because I was in college last year well, in multiple years before last year. Um, and I moved a lot in college. And so this is probably my third moving vlog that I've done, but it's obviously much different because now I'm married and I have a lot of stuff and I'm moving across the country. <laughs> um, and there's just a lot that's gonna go down. So that's coming soon, moving vlogs. Um, prepping for moving and that sort of stuff <clears throat> but there is a little life update like I said we're actually like really really excited for this we've never one we've only moved into one apartment together where I'm excited for that for our the moving aspect and what that will be like to do together but we've also for sure never lived um, together or in general on the East Coast and so that is exciting to think about yeah, Matt Smith so I'm going to run in really quick okay this is what we're all looking for it's definitely going to be dark by the time we get home and can finish these pupusas but that's okay the uh, corn flour that I just got it literally says pupusas on it so at least I know I have the right thing now okay we have <coughs> the correct flour so let's try this again okay, I'm gonna start well out with the two cups of corn flour one kind of heaping spoon of tablespoon of all-purpose flour and I'm going to start with a cup and a half of hot water. I'm going to um, just knead it on low for a few minutes. Okay, for pupusas, I'm going to put a little bit of this water and oil on my hands. I'm going to grab some of this dough and make it into a little bowl like that and I'm gonna put a little bit of the stuffing into it okay I don't feel like I made it bowl-y enough I need to watch the TikTok again to see what the did okay this is rough <laughs> we're definitely gonna try again I don't know if I used enough dough I do feel like it's gonna taste good even if it's ugly Okay, I'm just gonna toss it on the skillet now and let it cook. I'm going to use like more than I think I'll need of the dough. Make a little bowl. <laughs> I'm so scared. I just like totally feel like I'm doing it wrong. Okay, let's do that. And then I feel like this is maybe better. <laughs> The video said it just takes practice, so I'm just going to count on that it takes practice. I think I'm doing too much filling, maybe. 
because like all of it is spilling out a little bit. This is the first one I tried. It fell to pieces, but I'm going to try it. Hmm. It tastes pretty good. Mmm, yeah. Good morning. We made the pupusas last night and they were great. Um, it was a little tricky. Um, but they tasted really good. I think with more practice they'll just get even better. We made a lot of them. Um, and then I wasn't very <laughs> hungry after making them. I snacked a lot beforehand because I started making them kind of late, but, um, so we have a lot of extra in the fridge, which is great. We can eat them for lunch, we could even have them for dinner if we wanted to. I recently got some new nail polish or gel nail polish. I actually, I did my nails like just a few days ago, but they're already kind of looking rough and I don't love the design that much. I've lost a nail already and one of my nails has chipped quite a lot and so I would like to redo my nails. I have two options but I'd kind of like to do like a little swatch for them. So I got two um, types of nail polishes and I just want to swatch them really quick. I got a tortoiseshell kit um, which I've never tried tortoiseshell before, but I like the warmth to tortoiseshell. I have tortoiseshell glasses. I think it just goes well with my skin tone, um, but you kind of need a kit for it because it has like all sorts of different, um, colors. So there's, um, a lot that and they're kind of obscure colors that you wouldn't have um just like in your normal collection um and so i got the kit and honestly like these colors are still like so gorgeous on their own like i don't know if you can see it this is like a gorgeous like red wine um sheer coat I just feel like even if I don't like tortoiseshell, I would still use, see, it's just so pretty. I feel like I would still just use these polishes um, regardless if I, if I uh, end up not liking tortoiseshell on me. Um, so it's kind of like a more ashier brown. I think the last one is like black or something. Oh no, it's like a orangey. So I don't really know exactly how to do tortoiseshell, but I'm excited to try it. And then the other polish I got, I've been seeing this color all over Pinterest. And I just, I know that I will love this color for spring and summer. I'm confident I will. Okay, so it's kind of like a pale yellow. Oh, so pretty, like just slightly yellow. I think this will be so gorgeous for um, spring and summer. Oh, it's so pretty. I just, I love it. So I'm excited about those two possibilities. I wanna do a swatch really quick. So to be less wasteful, I don't know if you can see them. I make these like tiny little nail things um, from my large, really like extra large tips that I use. Like I have no fingers that this would ever fit on. And the arch would also like not work even if I made it smaller. And so I don't want to waste them. And so I've been cutting them down <laughs> to be like a smaller nail just to use as a swatch and then I can paint it um, like I did this one a while ago and then I can see what it would look like on me and I actually did these nails a while ago and I loved them, I thought they were really pretty. So um, anyways, I'm gonna really quickly swatch those too.
that's the yellow. I think it's really pretty. Just like a, a nice pale yellow. Um, again, I like this more for summer, I think. Um, so I'm leaning towards not doing this one just yet, but it is really pretty. Yeah, this is the lighter red. Just gonna dabble it around. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna take some of the darker red and just put like a little bit on there. And cure that. I'm gonna put the yellow on top of that now. And I'm going to leave that uncured for a minute. Um, and I'm going to take the lighter brown. Also, I'll have all of these colors linked down below um, if you're interested in them. Okay, the lighter brown. I'm just going to dot on top and like kind of mix in with that yellow and I'm gonna do the same with the darker brown I think ridiculous okay my camera turned off I just put a a whole coat of the orange on and I cured it um now I'm actually just going to buff it out and flatten it I think just so I have like one smooth surface I think now I'm going to take the darkest brown and do a coat of that on top. I am surprised that this kit didn't come with any black because I've seen that on a lot of other tutorials <clears throat> is the Muse Black. So this is very, a very red one now. I will cure it, but I just want to see what it looks like. Kind of pretty. Okay, um, I'm going to cure this really quick. That's how it looks. I think it's really cute. I do think I would add some black in there. I have a black, it's not sheer, but I think that I could use it just to add a little bit. Um, so I don't know if there's really like a method to the madness. I think it's kind of just like do whatever you want um, and just do your best. Uh, everyone has their own technique, but again, I don't know if there's really a method to it um, <clears throat> because you'll create a different look no matter what you do, uh, but it all kind of ends up looking the same also. So kind of just depends on what you like in a tortoise shell uh, but I think this would be really cute as like a tortoise shell tip like a French tip um, I think that would be really pretty the thing is I don't know if I'm like super ready to attempt that just yet because I want my nails to be a little longer I don't know I need to think about it I might uh, take the nails down and do it but I just don't know yet but I wanted to show you guys both of those um, I do a lot of DIY on this channel and I just like love to emphasize that like literally you can do anything that you want 
You can do your own nails if you want. You can make your own clothes if you want. You can make your own food. All of the stuff. Um, if you want to do it, I think you totally can. So, yeah.